Our Bangladesh is a place with a variety of natural beauties. This country contains several resources in the combination of mountains, jungles, wetlands and plainlands. Yet most of the people living in rural areas are lacking behind in necessary education, awareness and financial solvency. For that reason, they have been living extremely below the poverty line for decades. These poor people have to spend most of the time seeking food and shelter. They have to run their lives taking manual labor as their only capital. Many of them are selling their land and houses and are drifting away to seek shelter in towns, ports, slums and are getting engaged in begging and vulnerable jobs. Podukkhep is organizing these people and providing necessary training and microcredit to involve them in development works and turning them into human resources. Podukkhep Manubik Unnayan Kindro started its journey in 1986 from Aguilchara Upazila Burishal, intending to and aiming for the improvement of the lifestyles of such poor communities. As a challenge to create a Bangladesh which is democratic, capable, indiscriminate and free from poverty, Podukkhep Manubik Unnayan Kendro has undertaken many income generating projects within the 460 upazilas of the 64 districts of Bangladesh for the economical solvency of the people in its command areas. Besides, Podukhep has established its acceptance among communities by creating personal capital and self-employment and empowerment of the selected communities through demand-based services in the light of Holistic Development Approach HDA in areas such as savings, credit, insurance, agriculture, health, HIV, AIDS, nutrition, sanitation, education, gender, environmental development, social security, marketing, technological assistance, increasing awareness, counseling, etc. Podukkhep Manubik Unnan Kendro, through its survey team, has identified out the country's poverty pocket or geographical target areas and is working towards success with determination. Podukkhep has made the poor women in its work areas self-dependent by providing necessary training and credit facilities and assistance in livestock and poultry farming. Under this program, numerous poor members have graduated as micro-entrepreneurs. Through the various uses of microcredit, a source of multi-dimensional productive income and job opportunities have been created in the rural areas at present. Various income generating activities like beef fattening, dairy, goat rearing, fish farming, duck rearing, poultry farm, etc. are continuously playing an important role in the development of the socio-economic conditions of the rural people. Those who spend their busy days idly before, now are leading busy life, have food security and the basic needs have been fulfilled. Using local resources and technology, people from different communities are producing various types of usable commodities which have already created a demand and even foreign markets. Mm -hmm. 
Podukhep is helping the rural economy by financially assisting small businessmen of various occupations. Business centers that were closed due to lack of demand are working again with renewed spirit today. With the financial and technical support of Porto Cape, these business centers are expanding and creating job opportunities for the unemployed people. Rabia Khatun is such a micro-entrepreneur. She's a housewife of a poor family of Uttargaon Kaliganj in the Ghazipur district. From a micro-credit beneficiary of Podu Cape, she has now established herself as an entrepreneur. And as an indication of her work, Citigroup has rewarded her as the year's best micro-entrepreneur in 2005. আমার <laughs> This is very desalaya, I mean, kiss the salaya, get it, take more than guess, you were a four of the time, I'm a shatazatakar in this. Shatazatakar in this, or a misuta, or Kisubara, and a do it a machine day, a cormosari, they can easy. I'm a shami, do it on a cascursi, a mar, borrow me to borrow, is over a esclosa, shagor, and easy log it to come cascore, whereas a mute to shamne to a guessy, a deep or a shoot pyramid, four of the time, I'm a doshazatakansi. Dosazatta <laughs> শুরু করি শুরু করে পরে এটা দিয়া আবার আমি আবার 60000 টাকা আনছি অনে আমি হেডি পরিশোধ করে আমি 2 লাখ টাকা আনছি 2 লাখ টাকা আমি অনে আমার কিস্তি চলতে আছে আমি ঠিক মত কিস্তি চালাইতে পারি চলতে পারি আমাকে 2005 সাল আমাকে ক্ষুদ্র উদ্যোক্তা হিসাবে আমাকে সিটি গ্রুপ আমাকে পুরস্কার দেওয়া হয়েছে নিজের পরিশ্রমের জন্য আমার পুরস্কার ছিল 1 লক্ষ টাকা আমার কর্মচারী এসে Nilufar Yasmin is another hard-working woman. She lives in the village of Bina, Beldia, One Number Union in Pirojpur in the Borishal Division. With the assistance of Podu Cape's microcredit service, now she is the owner of a factory manufacturing cricket bats, where she has employed 20 other helpless and very poor people. পদক্ষেপ মানবিক উন্নয়ন কেন্দ্র থেকে আমি ঋণ নিয়া 6 বছর হইছে ওই পাঁচ বারে ঋণ নিছি পাঁচ বারে ঋণ নিয়া আজকে আমি সিজন ছিল তা শ্রেষ্ঠ সিজন ছিল পুরস্কার পেয়েছি ফর আ অ্যামেজিং ডিটারমিনেশন এন্ড হার্ড ওয়ার্ক শি ওয়াজ গিভেন ইয়ার্স বেস্ট মাইক্রো অন্টারপ্রেনর অ্যাওয়ার্ড বাই সিটি গ্রুপ ফাউন্ডেশন ইন 2006 and 4,000 US dollars and an opportunity to participate in the World Microcredit Convention 2006 located at the World Trade and Convention Center in Halifax, Canada. Nilufa Yasmin's devotion to her work has been praised home and abroad. Thus, Porto Cape's microcredit facility is helping numerous poverty-stricken women of a country to become established in life. Although Bangladesh is an agriculture-based country, the people involved in feed-level agricultural activities are living under the poverty line. As a result, they cannot afford to invest in irrigation, fertilizer, pesticides, etc. when necessary. This in turn affects our food security and economic development. Considering this, Bodu Cape has started a seasonal agricultural credit program among the farmers in its working areas.
Farmers from different upazilas in the Jessore district have become self-dependent by growing various flowers according to market demand with the help of Podu Cape's seasonal agriculture credit facility. I am from the village of Podu Cape. 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 सेली पे लिखा पड़ा करे तब अरे शांतिस चले मुनि इति इति आर की आम्रा पद समित टाका आर की दीती थाके। Besides producing flowers, the aspect of marketing these has created new dimensions in the flower business. Many people have found jobs there. Recently, people from all walks of life have become interested in planting fruit gardens. The reason behind this is more or less known to all of us. When a fruit garden is created, it is considered a permanent asset. However, for creating a good fruit garden, it is important to have high quality seedlings. Podukib Manubik Unnan Kendra has arranged an exhibition and established a nursery with the help of DAE for the production of high quality seedlings. Local people and farmers can collect high quality seedlings from here according to the demands. Besides, they can also become self-dependent by establishing their own nursery, taking technological and financial assistance. As the demand for various local fruits are increasing simultaneously with the increase of population, the prices of fruits are increasing at the same time. For that reason, people of all levels have become interested in establishing fruit gardens. However, Poduke believes that modern technology is necessary to produce high yield of high quality fruits. In order to make agricultural activities easier and more profitable, Bodu Kip is raising the farmers' interest in training, soil testing and using agricultural equipments. It is quite difficult for a farmer to market his products because our preservation system is very poor. Aside from that, our farmers do not yet have enough awareness for marketing agricultural products. That is why organizing the workers and training them on sorting, grading and packaging of the agricultural products through the arrangement of such workshops by Podu Cape is a very efficient step. Podu Cape is providing training and credit support to its members for fish farming in each of its working areas so that by using advanced technology and producing more fish the fish farmers, fishermen and pond owners can meet the demand for animal protein in the country and contribute to the elimination of poverty. Through Fish Farming Development Project, IFAD, in Furitpur, as a leading NGO, Podu Cape has largely contributed to the socio-economic condition of the said areas by expanding the fish farming technology to 750 hectares of wetland and 750 hectares of pond in eight districts of the southwest part of the country. 
Such a pond is the Rajkonj Baur of the Bodu area, Sharsha, in the Jasod district, where Bodu Cape is organizing the fishermen and providing necessary training and credit support. As a result, the yield of fish has increased several times in such wetlands and the fishermen are once again finding work opportunities in their traditional occupations. Physical capability is a main asset for a manual worker to earn a living. That is why Bodu Cape lending a helping hand to such manual workers for health protection and awareness. The workers of this institution are primarily making the people of all level in the project areas aware about sanitation, arsenic in tubal water, pure drinking water, etc. Besides, it is working towards bringing 100% sanitation coverage by 2010 in all working areas. At the same time, it is providing healthcare facilities to poor citizens through hearing camp, eye camp, etc. and satellite clinics also have been established to ensure healthcare of mother and child and population control implemented by the government. Bodu Cape is also executing several activities in its working areas to raise awareness about human trafficking in order to make the trafficking prevention program a success. Those children who have not found shelter in a loving and caring family and got involved in hazardous jobs to earn two meals a day in their unpredictable floating lives, Bodu Cape has extended a supporting hand towards them. Bodu Cape has been working with the vulnerable and disadvantaged children since 1998 through Street Children Program. Under this program, Bodu Cape provides a package of services like health, education, food, accommodation, treatment, vocational training, job placement, savings and credit, recreation, counselling, etc. All these services are provided through four drop-in centers. The workers of the drop-in centers cautiously treat the street children who come here. They inquire about their health and provide treatment. They arrange free food. They make arrangements for sleeping during day and night in drop-in centers. Besides, high-ranking government officials often visit these centers to inquire about these children and distribute warm clothes among them. তারপর আমি দিন গা কান বাজার থাকি এখানকার একজন ভাইয়া ছিল ফিল ভিজিট ফিল ভিজিট করত একদিন আমি রাস্তার মধ্যে বসে আছিলাম এক ভাইয়া আমাকে যা বলল যে তুমি কোথায় থাকো আমি বললাম আমি রাস্তায় থাকি তারপর ভাইয়া আমাকে অনেক কিছু বুঝালো বুঝানোর পর আমার এই সেন্টারে আনলো আনার পরে আমার হাত পায় চুলকানি ছিল তারপর আমি এখানকার ডাক্তার ভাইয়া আছে সে আমাকে চিকিৎসা করে হাত পায় চুলকানি ভালো করলো 
তারপরে এখান থেকে আমি আরও সুবিধা পাইছি লেখাপড়া করতে পারতাছি তারপর এখানে তিন দুই বেলা খাইতে পারতাছি দশ টাকা দিয়া তারপরে এখানে আমরা গুসলো করতে পারছি আমার নাম মোহাম্মদ সুমন আমি আগে রাস্তায় ছিলাম আমি আগে খারাপ কাজে লিপ্ত ছিলাম এবং কি পিচ্ছি আনান যে বড় বড় সন্ত্রাসী তাগর সাথে আমি চলছি এবং কি খারাপ স্পোর্টে কাজ করছি এবং পেন্সিল বিক্রি করছি পরে আমি হঠাৎ করে একদিন ফিল বিজি করে আমাকে এখানে নিয়ে আসছে এখানে এসে আমি এখন অনেক লেখাপড়ার সুযোগ পাইছি আগে আমি লেখাপড়া করতে পারতাম না এখন আমি এখানে বর্তমানে লেখাপড়া শিখছি এবং যে আগে যে রাস্তায় থাকতাম অনেক মানুষ আমার কাঙ্গালি বলতো আর এখন আমি এখানে আইসা দুই বেলা ভাত খাইতে পারি এবং কি আমি যে বাইরে যে গোসল করতে দুইটা দুই টাকা লাগতো এখন আমি এখানে গোসল করি ফিরে গোসল করি এবং কি দশ টাকা দিয়ে দুই বেলা ভাত খাইতে পারি Considering these children's futures, a savings and credit program has been started here. So that they can gain occupational skills and perform business activities by taking credits in the future. They are given vocational training and are engaged in various occupations as technical apprentices so that they can build themselves up as skilled workers. পদক্ষেপ মানবিক উন্নয়ন কেন্দ্র ড্রপিং সেন্টার থেকে আমরা এখানে কিছু ছেলেকে প্রশিক্ষণ দিচ্ছি এবং অন্যরা বিভিন্ন ভাসমান ছেলেদেরকে এনে আমাদের বিভিন্ন প্রতিষ্ঠানে আমাদের মতন এখানে ওনরা দিচ্ছে কারণ ওদেরকে ওরা ভাসমান ওদেরকে যাওয়ার থাকার কোনো স্থান নেই তাই ওনরা নিজেরা ওনরা সংগ্রহ করে আমাদের মতো প্রতিষ্ঠানকে বিভিন্ন জায়গায় ওদেরকে কাজ শিখাইয়া হয়তো ওদের জীবনটাকে বদলে দেওয়ার জন্য বিভিন্ন কায়দা বিভিন্ন যে যে কাজ পারে তাকে সেইভাবে ইনভেস্ট করে বিভিন্ন জায়গায় দেওয়া হচ্ছে যাতে পরবর্তীতে আমাদের কাছে কাজ শিখেও নিজের পায়ে দাঁড়াতে পারে এবং ভবিষ্যতে ওরা যেন আমার মতো মাস্টার বা দোকানদার হতে পারে Nowadays, HIV AIDS is spreading all over the world in the form of an epidemic. We are not safe from its death trap either. However, we can stay safe from HIV AIDS by taking careful precautions. Targeting this, Podukhep Manubik Urnaun Kindro has extended the HIV AIDS prevention project in government and non-government levels under its health program to all districts and divisions. It is playing a praiseworthy role in proper implementation. Bodu Cape has created a bridge with various government and non-government institutions by implementing several awareness programs in its working areas with the financial support of Bangladesh government and Save the Children USA. Besides, it is organizing floating and drug-addicted people and providing financial and technical support to bring them back to normal life. With finance from UNICEF and Family Health International, Porto Cape is providing services like personal hygiene, health, counseling, entertainment and provide accommodation at the drop-in centers in various districts of the country to drifting drug-addicted people. If disorder is identified in any drug addicted person they are sent to Bodu Cape's private centers and various government and non government hospitals and clinics for treatment Finally Bodu Cape is trying to bring them back to normal lives by arranging for rehabilitation A considerable proportion of the population of Bangladesh consists of disabled people to rehabilitate them is the moral responsibility of every citizen from that social obligation podu cape is executing various programs to rehabilitate them and to establish their fundamental rights
Podukhep is creating awareness and providing necessary training and support to poor communities, especially those living on the coast and chore areas, so that they can protect themselves from food shortages during various natural disasters. People are carelessly exploiting the environment to earn a living. As a result, the environment is becoming endangered. The world's climate is changing. Biodiversity and ecosystems are getting destroyed. Today, every country of the world is worried about this. Podukhip 2 is playing a positive role as a partner organization with Bangladesh government in various activities regarding environment preservation. It is implementing various programs including tree planting, forestry and sanctuary establishment. Podukhip has started Solar Home System program with the help of Infrastructure Development Company Limited, ITCOL, from 10th October 2005. ITCOL is a government-owned institution that is implemented by Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Development Project in Bangladesh with support from Bangladesh Government, World Bank and GTZ. Its main aim is to reduce the pressure on electricity supplied to the national grid as well as delivering energy to remote hilly and rural areas and houses where electricity has not reached and providing energy service to low-income people to establish sustainable development under the rural-based organized development scheme. There are several small mountainous holiday resorts in the Rangamati district which has to be reached by boat along the Kaptai Lake. The attraction to tourists for such resorts is increasing day by day. Although electricity is not available here, Podukhep Manubik Unnan Kendra has arranged solar system. The tourist asked to say, "Amra Ashar pore amra upukri to hotchi. Aro amra jarai kana bekar achi. Tar bekar ot dur mane dur hotchi." Bangladesh Pulli Kormo Shahak Foundation (PKSF) has become a role model worldwide as the best financing and organization developing institution in the microcredit sector. With the financial support of PKSF. Among the few NGOs progressing in the proper implementation of microcredit, Podukhip Manubik Unnan Kendro is one of the best. It received the Best Partner Organization Award in 2005 as PKSF's Best Partner Organization for a special contribution towards poverty elimination. Aside from that, the institution also received several different awards for various special activities at different times. There are numerous members of Podukhep throughout the country. To ensure reasonable pricing of their products, Podukhep Manubik Unnan Kendra has established a community shop, namely Podukhep Biponon. For continuous communication and monitoring from this center to the other regional offices of Podukhep throughout the country, a computerized network or information communication technology cell has been established. As a result, the beneficiary members associated with production activities can easily know about the market conditions of various regions and other information every day. Besides, a ladies club has been established with the help of this institution for the overall betterment of the female microcredit beneficiaries involved with productive development work.
For the development of micro entrepreneurs, the members of the club prepare constructive plans and present suggestions to the institution's related officers for implementation. Podukip has established Podukip Institute of Development and Management PITM, to build a capable group of staff for the improvement of the beneficiary members as graduated entrepreneurs. Officers and staff of different stages are undergoing routine training on different activities. This place also provided accommodation and dining facilities for the trainees. For the proper implementation of the ongoing projects of Porto Cape, there are regular discussions, seminars and workshops organized for executive committee, senior officials of the organization. Poduk Cape has established a library and publication and documentation section for official staff of Poduk Cape and preserve all documents on its activities. Various publications like annual reports, newsletters, yearly articles, documentary films, diaries, calendars, brochures, leaflets, posters, stickers, booklets, etc. are regularly being produced by this section. Podukip is implementing various rural-based programs following its HDA approach. The institution has established branch offices in its working areas as a part of its HDA approach. Through these offices, Podukip is implementing rural-based activities targeting the establishment of Podukip police in both urban and rural areas. Podukip follows a cluster approach in implementing its development activities. Every cluster consists of three to six shomitis, which is termed as Podukip Polli or Podukip Community. Podukip strongly believes that poverty can be substantially reduced by providing demand-based services like microfinance, agriculture, health, education, nutrition, water and sanitation, technology, information, disaster management, marketing, awareness on HIV, AIDS, climate change, etc. Podukip provide those services to the cluster people with the aim to improve the quality of life of the poor and the community people as a whole.